live here. Um, yeah, doing a different setup here than usual. So I would put the camera up here, but it's just easier this way. So I'm also not used to having the live feed like this big here. So let me just take a picture here, just make sure everyone is aware that I'm live streaming. So I'm doing this earlier than I had said and later than I re-said. Just going to tell the boys that I'm live. So we're going to wait for a few people to show up here, one or two. I know two people are watching, waiting for comments to see that people are alive. So maybe have a, a bite of my pizza, late night pizza going on, home run in pizza, sausage. It's, uh, yep, looks pretty good. Probably really blurry. Very good. Uh, frozen pizza. No, no Mountain Dew this time. I got a Dr. Pepper to... Uh, I don't know where I put the hat, but I think it might be upstairs. Um, actually, maybe... Crap. Yeah, I think it's upstairs. My um, Texas A&M hat. The... Uh, Actually, here it is. The Aggies uh, pulled the upset on Florida today, and Dr. Pepper is like the official state drink of Texas. Um, I, I've been to Texas like three times, and you can find more Dr. Pepper than water in Texas. So, well, my... Uh, College friends Josh went to Texas and is going to Texas AM right now. So had to get a nice uh dad hat, brand 47 hat, nice strap back, and uh celebrate the win today. Big upset over uh Florida uh Gators. Um Fit Insider. Uh if anyone's watching the replay here, he had a great live stream on today, uh, just a few hours ago. And I forget the guy he was interviewing, but or he was chatting with, but um, seemed like a guy kind of newish to got a UVA University of Virginia hat. I do. It's a uh, it's stashed away. I'm not gonna actually. It's up here. Um, he seemed like he was kind of new to the hat game and kind of asking some questions about how uh, hats work, but. It also seemed like he kind of knew a few things, but he was like kind of early into the hat game. So, uh, always UVA, Virginia there, um, request there. So it seems like a cool guy kind of early on into the hat collecting there and, uh, had a lot, had a lot, a lot of hats that he was showing off. So very, another, I mean, it was, it was almost a perfect live stream, I would say, that he did. There's one glaring problem. Fit Insider was wearing a Cardinals hat the whole time. It threw me off. I, I had I almost puked every time I saw it. <laughs> Kidding. But great live stream he did. Um I tend I mean I I, I have his live stream on at eight o'clock when he does one. And I kinda have views from the vault in the background, like just in case they talk about something that I'm interested in, but more often I find myself more watching Fit Insider, a um, little bit more relatable, a little bit. Um, I mean, of course, I know Fit Insider through the um, Hat Society group that we have, so I know I'm a little bit better through Instagram. It's a little bit easier to get along with and uh, listen to. Um, and of course, congrats to Fit Insider for ten thousand. Uh, followers on Instagram. That is batshit crazy. That is numbers out of the atmosphere for me. Uh, currently, I have 142 subscribers to my YouTube channel. And for my 
Instagram, I am at 358 compared to my personal account, which I have 138. So, you know, some decent numbers. So, and I have a little bit more, more, more that I'm following than people that follow me. Yeah, views from the vault. Yeah, I mean, it, it's somewhat of a yawn. I mean, they kind of go over what was released that week. I mean, there's some things that I hadn't seen that they talk about. Um, 19 subs. Damn, you're you're getting fast. There is a guy out there. I'm gonna I'm going to look up his YouTube name here. Um, collector. He's he's kind of small YouTuber right now. And right now he's at 86 subscribers. I haven't watched his latest video. Um, simple guy. Uh, he's just called the hack. He's called Hack Collector. So very simple. And I mean, he's very low budget, very straightforward with his hats. He gets a lot of his hats from uh, Hack Club. Gets a lot of hats from hat club and then gets a few from like my fitted or hat heaven. So he's gotten some really good ones. He has a lot of hats that, you know, everyone else is getting right now, but he's gotten a few that, you know, are, were hard to get. So I binge watched this channel one time to catch up on his videos and simple guy, like very simple, no editing, just a straight shooting. So, and he's already at 86 subs, and he's been going on. His first video was out um, four months ago, June 4th, and he's already at 86 subs. So I think it took me like a year and a half, I think, to get to uh, 100 subs. So he's really on his way. Granted, he's also on the niche of fitted hats and from hat club hat, so it kind of fits the, the, the norm, kind of fits the, the conformity, you know. Um, and actually, this video here is about me uh, conforming to the, uh, the pre-order. So, um, well, I, know, I don't know if I, I don't think I mentioned it on the channel here necessarily. Um, I finally got my pink martini from, from a... This is Hat Club's Pink Martini. I bought the White Sox one myself from Hat Club. But this one I bought from a guy named Joshua Stropes from the uh, Fitted Hat Society uh, Facebook group. So, and I bought it for like 65 bucks, so very reasonable. So thank you to Joshua for um, selling this one to me, letting it go. Um, and put that there and uh j38 smh what are, you, what are you talking about son what are you talking about um but i mean this is like in hands uh top 20 well i mean he 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 was saying that he was just wanting to it wasn't as impressive to him in hand he more like the Diamondbacks hat that he got. So for me, um, it was the Angels and the National hats for the Pink Martinis that I really liked. Because um, with like the White Sox one, it, the lo the front logo is all pink, and the National one here has the pink and white to it. So I like the uh, the contrast there. And for me, my favorite color is green. Um, I don't really have a good green hat, but green is my favorite color. And this one is a nice green color. And the lighting isn't the best in the basement here. I'm not in my usual garage setup in the nice uh, basement here. Um, but for me, this is of my 200, almost 70 hats. I think I'm at 200. Um, so this is my 268th hat. This is like top 25 pretty fast already um just it's a great fit a little tight i mean i can always you know curve the brim a bit here and uh or stretch it out of it just a bit with the uh, hat jack um diamondbacks was cool i heard that the um 
Pirates one was a big uh, hot seller. And um, Toronto also looked pretty cool. I think those were Diamondbacks, Toronto, and Pittsburgh were some of the more popular ones. I'm pretty sure Sean Stay Fitted did one by the Pink Martinis already, but either I forgot about it already or maybe I'm just making that up. Nothing Mandela effect. So, got that one. Um, oh, I I did get... Where to go, where to go, where to go? I got three hats in the back here. And it's... It's a mess. An absolute mess. Oh, there it is. To continue with my hockey hat collection, LA Kings, 59 50. Uh, got this one off Mercari. I'm sorry to hate Mercari. Um, I know it's not like, you know, everyone's the same, but it just feels like the last few hats I've been getting from Mercari um, aren't, aren't in good shape. I mean, I bought this for like 12 bucks with tax and shipping total I paid. So I really shouldn't expect too much from it. But I mean, a little dust on the, I know you can't see it on the camera, a little dust on the, uh, on the brim here. Nothing that, uh, crown wipes can't fix. And, uh, you know, give it, give the crown wipes a nice run on here. I mean, the LA Kings aren't really a, top team for me. I don't necessarily hate the Kings, but I don't really want to root for them. They're kind of like a meh team for me. So there have been a lot of Kings hats that have just been floating around. I was kind of thinking about asking uh, Johnny G to um, buy one at the locker room downy for me and then, you know, buy it from him. Uh, it was like it'd be an all black one, but then this one with the gray and the black rim, the two-tone. Um, I'm not too picky with my hats like this. Or I mean, again, being an L.A. King hat, not going to be too picky about which one I got. Um, I do like this one I would consider an authentic uh, hockey hat. This one has the NHL uh, tag on the inside. It has the NHL shield on the back in kind of a, like a gray. Um, so, and also the fit is a little big for a seven, five ace, but it's kind of like in the, the brim up here on the front where it seems a little wide. So I only paid like 12 bucks total for it. And again, the LA Kings is not my big team, so I'm not going to be too upset about the quality of this so just uh you know it's a uh, hat number 24 the uh hockey hats and um got about uh, 10 more to go well i guess 11 but i'm not doing the blues so we'll cross off on, on my spreadsheet on this screen here we'll cross off the la kings nope they're the green Oh, yeah, I have 10 more to go for hockey hats. But, again, I'm not getting a St. Louis Blues hat. I'm not, at least I'm not buying one. Um, supposedly, there's supposed, there supposed to be a shock drop for Hat Club today with those uh, with pink lemonades. One, I didn't know about it. And two, even if, I, and it, even if I didn't know about it or knew about it, I probably would have missed it. Um, so I think that was supposed to happen at, like, 2 o'clock. Uh, California time, so I, mean, I was busy at work today. Customers were just awful today. They were, no one was using brain cells today, so, you know, it's just another one of those days, and we got new people hired at uh, the Blue and Yellow store, and trying to teach them. It's kind of weird to teach people again. I had, the last time I had a mentoring role was in student government in college, and that was at this point, just about three years ago. So I haven't really had a need to, you know, mentor someone, whether it be at my temp job, because I was still learning there. I was always at the bottom there. I wasn't going to be there for too long. This is just a temp worker. And working at Fresh Time, there's really, there's really no way to mentor someone on pushing carts or 
bagging groceries or cleaning really. So not really anything big there. So it's kind of cool to mentor someone, have them share to you. And there's a lot of, do they say, do as I say, not as I do. Cause there was someone today um, asking about a MacBook Pro. So we had a MacBook Pro open box, open boxes. Someone bought it already. They didn't like it. So they returned it. And more often it's in good condition. It, if it's open box, it's in working condition. If it's not in working condition, we don't even put it back on the shelf. So open boxes, working condition. Some of them might have like a scratch to it. Maybe who knows? Um, guy was asking to haggle the price. I'm like, the open box price tags are set. It's a corporate formula, and we can't change them. What well, can you just ask a manager to, you know, see what they can do? I'm like, they're gonna tell you the same thing. Uh, we don't haggle here. And the guy, the new kid, Patrick, he's watching me. I'm like, I'm like, you know, we don't really haggle here because they're set at a corporate price, and or because of the formula. And I'm like being like really, really sassy with them and trying to drive the fact that like, no, I cannot do that for you. I mean, it's even though it's open box, it's already a lower price than it was before. It's only $72, $72 off. Not, that's not even 10% really, to be honest. Um, but it's still something off. But the guy's like, no. And we get a lot of people that like try to haggle. It's like, we're not a flea market. And as I walk away trying to get a supervisor, I told Patrick, I'm like, never do that with a customer. <laughs> do, but I mean, kind of comes with, you know, after so long working in retail, you kind of gain some uh, freedoms to, you know, be sassy with a customer. This customer was asking me the other day, uh, you know, why we don't have as many options for webcams. And I'm like, come over here. Little secret. We're in the middle of a global pandemic. The supply chain from China has been uh, suffering lately. So, I mean, if you're, see I mean, I've only, I've been there less than a year. End of October is my full first year with Best Buy. So, been going fast. Um, so, I can kind of be sassy with them. They trust me. So, um, I know I've been losing people, so we're going to get to the hat club drop here. The hat club pickup. I hear a, a pin. Uh, let me take a bite of my pizza first while no one's really commenting. Showing me that they're live. Let me just take a bite here. Good sausage pizza there. Um, I see three people. Is anyone alive? Is anyone watching still? Anyone getting new hats themselves this week? All right. So this one is the pre-order. This was the green eggs and ham pre-order. And for some reason, a lot of other people kept getting their... Uh, pre-order than sooner like I think some people have had their green eggs and hams for about two maybe three weeks now so they've had them out for a while but I think it was because some people might ha have had um, multiple hats they had to wait for their order like me I mean I only just I only got two hats but I think I, I don't want to you know put words into the hat club's mouth and I don't want to, you know, say something that isn't true about hat club and they're ordering their shipping process. Some people got their hats early. Some people are getting their hats now. Um, I got my hats. So I'll be thankful for that. So I did see a few people already post, um, the Red Sox and the Cubs hat that I got here. Um, and there were a few more, you know, that they look better in person than the vector image. So I'm sure come January, some of the uh, watermelons that uh, I was thinking about getting are going to look better in person. I'm going to be like, ah, damn, I should have gotten that one. So invoice for a 7.5-Ace. Uh, I think it's 7 5 ace. Yeah, 7 5 ace. Uh but I've also heard, I think it was from Fit Insider, I think I heard from somewhere else that 
they ran big. These hats ran a little big. So, I mean, with my changing head size now, my mutant head, I'm not really sure what to do anymore. But I had seen already the Red Sox one that I got and Cubs one that I uh, ordered that other people had gotten and posted on Facebook and Instagram. Cubs one looks so, so good. So, let's go first. There are some pins. I think everyone has seen the pins already. So this is a more creative pin than usual. Um, it's like the egg kind of all around the hat, all around the pin. So a little bit different than usual. I like that. So Boston Red Sox, Fenway, 100 year anniversary. Um, I wanted a, this already feels a little big. I mean, you can kind of tell the way you, like you like feel a hat that you can kind of tell that yeah, it's going to feel big, maybe. So, we'll see here. Um, been wanting a Red Sox hat with a 100-year anniversary patch for Fenway because Fenway is the oldest baseball park in America. The second is Wrigley. I have still yet to get a hat with a Wrigley 100-year anniversary side patch. Um, so, you know, the history of it, I wanted this one at least. And looking in person here is a deeper green than I remember seeing on the uh hat club website and seeing like the vector images are a little bit different of course than what is actually made <sighs> um, sorry anyone alive still out there anyone want to comment and say hi just to, so i know that you're alive anyone else get uh pre-order green eggs and ham I remember, let's see here, fulfilled, fulfilled. Nope, let's go with this one. Because the vector images look a whole lot different than, okay, actually, no, they look pretty dark green in the image here on the, what the vector image looked like. Anyways, so let's put this on. It's just ever so loose. It's not like big on me, but it's loose enough where it's like, yeah, I'll get I'll get by on it. Yeah, it'll be fine. So, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, if I if I curve the brim, then it's going to be, you know, too loose on me. So it's just ever so slightly loose where I can notice it. So I mean still a great hat. I mean still Great color, my favorite color green, like I mentioned before. Nice pink underneath. Do I am I starting to regret uh, getting some other green egg and ham hats? A little bit here, but you know it's fine. I'll I'll live with myself. Um, so let's get onto the Cubs hat here, and damn, this one is very oh this one feels like it's gonna be a little bit smaller so this one's gonna be bam look at that look at that cubby bear i love how the hat club used the old cubby bear the old 50s 60s cubby bear logo i only have one of those hats around here um, shit well it's one of the Yep, this one, this one. So, very, very nice logo, kind of nice retro to it. Um, Cause this, this logo isn't all that often used. I'm really, in some cases, disappointed that there's not a lot of difference in logos being used for the Cubs because Cubs are like one of the oldest teams in baseball history or in baseball. The Braves franchise, the Cincinnati Reds, I mean, the Braves has moved around a lot, so they're kind of like iffy here. And they haven't always been in Bo in Atlanta. They were in Boston. They were in Milwaukee at one point. And 
And the side patch is one that I've, to be honest, I've never seen before. Um, if it flips around, it's the 1962 All-Star Game in Chicago. And the next time that, they, that the Cubs had hosted an All-Star Game after 62 was 1990. Cotton candy there. Um, and we haven't hosted since. But yet, uh, who has Cleveland, San Diego... Pittsburgh, Cleveland, I think one more, have hosted two times since 1990. Kind of unfair, to be honest. Um, so hopefully Wrigley Field gets the 2023 All-Star Game. Hopefully. Or 24, maybe. It was in this decade. Anyways, so let's put this one on. And, Okay. In, in my hand, it felt like it was going to be big, or it's going to be a good fit, but it's still a little loose. So, I mean, can't do anything really bad now. But, I mean, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to bend the brim too much on it. I mean, it that would be nice, but uh, I also have to work on shrinking it. So, I'm almost tempted just for the future, um, just getting seven and a half. Hats for from Hat Club for pre-orders, just in case you know this kind of uh, this happens again. I mean, you know, great hat, but you know it it does fit a little big. Um, made in China. I mean, usually they're pretty good with the sizing with China. Um, so it kind of feels weird that it's you know th this big. Um. So overall, I mean, the designs, of course, are really great. I will be wearing this to work tomorrow. Both of these hats to work tomorrow. Um, I'll try to find a way to shrink these, maybe. Just, I mean, it's ever so slightly, you know, because if I want to. I mean, I talk a lot about wanting to bend the brim like this. But to be honest, I really never do. I always stick with this because it's just a bend enough where I think it's good. Um, you know, if, if it would be like bend like this, you know, this would be, you know, nicer. Look at the camera here and the screen. Um, but this would be, you know, too loose on me. So I think for the, if I really want to be serious with my, uh, brim bending and, you know, like a uh, straight cap fitted, you know, on a fit insiders page on his YouTube channel, bend the brim like he does like this then, you know, I got to size down so I can bend the brim. But again, I don't, as much as I want to bend the brims, I have the tools for it. I don't often do it anyways. So somewhat hypocritical, but not really. Um, so that's really all I got for today, for tonight. Um, I am, who has seen my field trip video? I made, I had a field trip video I made. I uh, had made a few weeks ago. I think I recorded that back in August and then finally put it out. So I, I have about, let me double check. I think I have like six videos that I uploaded the other day. And they're all in waiting right now just to be uh, made public. They're all uploaded, but they're not actually released yet. So going to slowly release them and I'm still working on um, some other videos and still trying to run my campaign. Um, I'm going to be using this blank uh, gray dad hat for my campaign. I uh, bought it from Amazon. It shipped it in a fucking envelope, like a big vanilla envelope. It's like, okay, that's just a middle finger. Great. Thanks. Um, so beauty. I'll be embroidering this Wednesday, I think. I'll try to get into lids to get this embroidered with a new logo. And then I got my standard uh, dad hat, my uh, standard campaign hat here. So let me uh, double check one thing here while I'm... Just wanted to double check one thing. Just in case I'm missing something. 
Move that over there. Uh. Oh, shit. So, the comments on the, on the screen here aren't working, and I'm trying to catch up on the comments here. Okay, so thank you for commenting. The live chat here just isn't working. So, uh, let's see. The king, they're definitely meh. Um, like it was the old purple. Get a blues. Fitted you bum. No way. I'm never, if it inside, I'm not getting a blue. I'm not buying a blues head. If it's donated to me, fine. But I'm not spending my good money on garbage like that. Um, I hit on a pink lemonade. Okay. I'll buy a pin. So you're. J3, you're going to buy this for, for 30 bucks. How crazy are you? You are you serious? You're going to buy this for 30 bucks. I, I'd probably sell it to you for maybe 20. I think, I mean, if it was anyone else, I'd probably take 30 right away, but because it's you, I'll, I'll you know, do a, a discount for, you know, hat, hat, hat society discount there. Um, Matt Z. Matt Z. Is this Matt from Fresh Time? He's alive? Um, let's see here. Yeah, J38, I'd rather stretch out than shrink down. Yeah, I mean... And it's, it's kind of different with, like, pre-order. I mean, no one really knew that these would be... would fit big, so... I mean, yeah, that's always, you know, the better judgment than to, you know, it's better to stretch out than to shrink down. So I think in the future, I'll do that. I mean, more often, the, like, um, like this one, 7.5 Ace, this one is pretty, this one feels a little tight, actually, you know, on the uh, smaller side. And this one was Chinese made. So I mean, I mean, this is also polyester, and this one is polyester. I mean, what? I mean, it, it, it's so hard to be consistent with hat sizing, because um, really, it shouldn't be any different. I I don't understand. Uh, yes, China or China. Um, let's see here. They smoked two eighty six. That shift it got dizzy. Uh, someone messed with the tape measure, I think, and uh, it got someone bumped the table, and the um, the measurements got off. Let's see here. Walking cub is still better. Um, the walking cub being better on a hat, not necessarily. To be honest, as a logo itself, yeah. The walking cup is pretty cool, but on a hat, not really. I mean, the watermelon hat had a walking cup to it. I mean, because the cup's hat, I went for it. Um, but otherwise, I wouldn't really think that the walking cup is good on a hat. I don't know why. It just seems too many things are going on, to be honest, compared to like what other cup's hats. And, sim and emblems that have been on the front of the hat. Like, you know, this cubby bear is pretty simple. They have like a, a 1980s version one that I can find it. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Uh, that one. Um, something like this one. But this one is like a pretty nice. This one I, I like a lot. Um, this one was used back in the 80s. Uh, I think maybe I should do like a, a top, like Cubs logo kind of thing video. Mm. Uh, let's see here. What else? The blue Lemures. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. So. 
that. Um, so yeah, I, I'm caught up with the comments now. Um, cause usually I'm in my garage and I have the basement for the moment to myself here. So I just figured like, Hey, I'll use the webcam here cause I have one and I'll, um, and it actually looks pretty clear on the, on the screen here. Am I, do I look like, do I look eight bits or do I look clear? Like maybe 480 or 720p footage. Um, Let's see the 96 Cubs logo on a collection series. Hold on. I don't remember the 96. Oh, I've seen that one. Oh, I'm look Jay said, yeah, I'm looking at that one now. It's, it's kind of like a modern rendition on that, um, the 80s one. I mean, I think that because I, I, it's kind of like an updated version of this, just like with like a little bit more facial expression to it, and I can kind of see the '96 one, but it isn't like a huge one. I mean, they only use it from '94 to '96. I've seen it, I think, one time on a hat. I'm going to send you a 47 Blues and Curls hat. I'll help out with your selection. Um, I mean, I, th I think I've seen this. I mean, when Wrigley was open, we didn't have all this pandemic crap. Um, I remember seeing this logo on a few hats. I think I've seen this adopted for the South Bend uh, Chicago Cubs lately. So, yeah. Eh, no, it's it's different. The South Bend logo is different. I thought it was the same, but it's kind of similar, but different at the same time. Um, I'm sure Hat Club released one with the 96th logo. I'm well late to Hat Club. Uh, I remember when Hat Club, or when I was first starting hat collecting, I mean, I was just a noob and only got from Lids, because um, I thought Lids was so cool. I mean, Lids back then had a great selection, but I was, wasn't as aware to the exclusive hats that Hat Club had back then. So, unfortunate. Um, 1937 logo. Let me look up that one. 1937. Cubs. That one I've seen on a hat before with Hat Club recently, but I was too late in getting it. It was a rail hat, but yeah, that one would be a really good one. I know that um, or the 57 to 78 logo. That'd be cool. It's like a like the modern logo, but it's like thin lines to it. Um, I know I got an email that Wrigleyville was doing a 30% off of, um, subscribers and like, you know, those who follow the, uh, their membership system, um, 30% off certain items and I think it's items or I think it's, uh, for any hat apparel, I guess. And there are a few like old timey Cubs logo ones that looked really good. Um, if I look it up again, if I look it up through the size, I can look for the 5950 if I can scroll down. Yeah, they got some ones that was the uh, 1927 logo, even. Um, That'd be a nice one to get. Um, they do have a Walking Bear logo. There's one that's like a two-tone uh, 69 logo, which is like this one. That's wrong. Um, oh, that's all they have, for at least for fitted hats, and or at least in my size. And 
sure if I expand the search to half, then yeah, there's a a few more options, not too many more. Um, yeah, I kind of miss going to the to Wrigley Field and going to Wrigleyville Sports, going to the um, Sports World. Sports World had a lot of the Chicago one. At Wrigley had a lot of great hats. Um, a lot of clearance stuff too. Let's see here. Oh yeah, the um, the one that looked like the the Wolverine, the Badger. That one is from like the late twenties, I think maybe. I know that what you're talking about forty one, yeah, forty one to forty five. I I was looking at it and I knew what you're talking about the uh the Badger looking one. Um, I mean, there's like a lot of great like history with the Cubs and their logos. But it's kind of like standard, just the uh, Red Sea. Not that that's bad. Oh, I mean, this works out really well. I mean, you know, it's nice to have variety like this sometimes. Um, I mean, there's plenty of teams out there with like different logos. I mean, I know the LA Dodgers and Yankees always get two pre-order hats because they're special for some reason. Like, they're popular, I guess. Um, I don't see that happening. Um, no, they didn't use the the Badger logo. Maybe they did. I, th I, think, I think they used a lot of different Cubs logos for the timeline hats. They had a lot out there. I mean, they had some logos on just fitted hats or some on just the stretch fitted hats, so the 39 30 hats. So it's kind of all over the place, I think. I never got a timeline hat, to be honest. I uh, kind of wish I did, but never did. Um, so for me, I have no other hats in the, the pipeline right now. Um, so I have my uh, my parcel tracking app. So I just uh, slide over and archive my uh, delivery, and I have archived all my deliveries just to uh, you know when I uh, got them. So so right now I think the only well the uh, Joel he's a, the uh, the full count studio guy he um he was at the rockies he was at coors field today no yesterday friday and uh, hats for people so um so i got two hats from him so he's gonna ship them out sometime and uh i'll try this week j38 to work on sending you the Harvard hat, and then the other hats for uh, MTS if need be. Um, I think the red one that they use for the Badger. Um, so those are the only two hats that I can really think of that are like coming out, or like I know I'm going to be getting soon. Otherwise, like at that, this exact moment, my parcel tracker is empty. Um... I got nothing going on otherwise. Um, send a rocks along with it. Rocks, like a like rock to throw at people, or what do I mean rocks? Like rock and roll music? Um, let's see. Um, otherwise, yeah, no, I don't have any. I mean, I'm going to be customizing the one hand for my campaign. Um, there, I mean, this, this upcoming Friday is payday, so that's when I'll, um, look at more hats, of course. I always, you know, payday, you know, we get paid and you're like, hey, let's buy shit. And, um, have you ever seen, have you ever seen 
Cubs hats and Bears colors. No, I have not. Um... I can't recall seeing any team in Chicago reuse each other's colors, except the White Sox. The White Sox one, like the black and white, can be used anywhere. So, excluding the White Sox logo color, um, I cannot recall seeing a Black Sox hat in Bears color or a White Sox hat in Black Sox colors. So, that would be kind of cool to see, though. A nice collaboration. Um, video wise, something I'm not too used to. Um, I mean, I, you know, of course, I have to like see it in person or like see an idea of it. Um, but no, I, I'd, I'd go for it. I mean, I got a, a Cubs hat in Bears colors. Um, because I think it's like unique coloring. Um, like a bear's hat in Cubs colors, I guess I could do that too. Probably, I mean, but like the bear C is like pretty close to what the Cubs had used before, so it's kind of like the same thing almost. Um, Nationals and Redskin colors, interesting. I mean, I think I want to say I've seen other teams do that cross their uh, colorless, but I haven't seen it with Chicago. I've only really seen like the um, Chicago flag colors be implemented in different uh, hat, hat designs. Um, thought I had one out here for a bear's hat. Maybe it's hiding? No, it's, it's not here. Um, I only have like 270 hat, 71 hats now, and I'm losing track of them. But it's only because I bring so many to work that I, you know, put them in my bag. I, I bring about, on average, two to five hats to work. And do I wear them all? No. But just in case I want to, you know, wear a, one of the hats or use them for a picture, I just have it with me. So, I know for like game days, you know, I bring hats with me. Like when the when hockey was going on, I had a lot of uh, hockey hats with me in my bag. When it was the Cubs opening, when it was the baseball opening season, season opener, I brought a lot of Cubs hats with me, and I brought a lot of baseball hats over the, that weekend. Um, like that was football, I brought a few football hats with me, but. Bears already played. Bears won four wins. Uh, that's how many downs uh, Brady forgot about, four. And Broncos play on Monday night. I'm pretty sure I work Monday night. Where we're extending hours at uh, Best Buy, so we're going to be open till 8 instead of 7. We're already starting at Black Friday stuff. Now it's kind of early. And um, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to the game on the TV on Monday night. Um, but yeah, I, I bring a lot of hats with me to work, and they're like, why? And I have like hooks on the, our, uh, by our desk that I just hang up on the hook and just hang them there. So I don't know where my uh, Bears Chicago flag hat is, because I brought that to work the other day, and can't find it right now. It's not can't see it as good right now. It doesn't, doesn't stick out here downstairs. <laughs> um, let's see here. Rays and Bucks. Rays had a nice series win. Uh, that, I mean, of course, whenever whenever the Yankees get eliminated, it, it, it warms your heart. So hats off to the Rays for doing that and doing it under the... Uh, the salary of Garrett Cole. <laughs> Let's see here. Let me take a look at Hack, Hack Club just to, just for the kick of it, together talking about it. Nope, Hat Club is Hat Land. 
Let's see what I can find. Okay, I can kind of see that. I was looking at the Bengals one, the red colors. So, that's pretty cool. Let's see. Uh, going back there. Going back there. Um, any, any other topics to mention before we log off for the night? I uh, really appreciate the patience because um, I was reading on my screen here because let me show you because literally I've only, only been seeing up until there for last, you know, 30 some minutes. I thought like no one was here. I'm like, oh, I have people watching, but no one's commenting. So that felt weird. So I'm like, you know, let me double check and see on, you know, the YouTube. You know, I'm watching my um, incognito page here just, you know, to check in. And yeah, there's a lot of comments. Um, so again, thank you guys for coming out tonight. Um, any other questions for me for the night or any questions, comments, concerns? Um, don't know when I'll be doing another live stream. I uh, don't underestimate the sneaky sir. Uh, yeah, he's down under. He's got, I mean, even though he's down under, I mean, he can be sneaky. It's us that um, in the U.S. here, we have technically the higher ground. So we can win any fight, no matter what. So, so we have the higher ground, and we will win. Favorite green eggs and ham? Um, I mean, among the ones that I got, of course, the Cubs one. Um, the the Red Sox one is nothing to sneeze at. Um, and noticing on the back here, actually, at the Batterman logos, it's for the Red Sox one, it's a all red Batterman logo. And on the back for the Cubs one, it's a pink and green Betterman logo. So I like that touch. I like this. Um, I I saw the Orioles one looked pretty cool. Um, third row Orioles fan here. These are my my third team. I'm trying to look on the uh, fitted hat group here to uh, to look at some of the other ones that were uh, posted. Um, I know the Twins one looked pretty cool. And that was all I maybe I can look on Instagram here see what everyone else posted. I mean, you know, I've been seeing them around. The uh, Angels one looks okay. The um, the who is it? Toronto Blue Jays. This one was sneaky. This one, I think, was uh, yeah. Can't really see it too well there. Um, it had nice coloring. The Nationals one looked pretty nice. Uh, seems like kind of off with like more pink than it, than there should be in it. Um, Pirates one, not too bad. I'm just looking through some guys. Instagram here of the uh, green eggs and ham. Um, so I would say, yes, it is a Madden shirt. Uh, it's my mom's Madden shirt. Um, one raised, one flat. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one is flat. On the Cubs one, and then the yeah, and then the uh, Red Sox is raised. So I'm. Not picky about the Bearman logo being raised or flat, to be honest. Um, I think it's cooler if it's flat, but I'm not going to be picky about it. Um, flat is for Cooperstown. Actually, I didn't know that. So, I'm glad we have an expert here. Yeah, I, I did not know that. Thank you, J38. I, uh, See, I, I learned from my students as well. I think it is because of the era of the logo it came from. Um, I did, I know that you guys have seen, I did submit my um, ultimate 
hat collection entry, my picture of hat diversity for lids. So um, I kept like looking at some of the other entries and like seeing, you know, um, who else was entering and kind of like what the competition would be. So hopefully lids can see that hat diversity matters and doesn't just go for people who just get new era 50 and 50 hats. I mean, great hats, but you know, hat diversity. I think it needs to be more uh, upfront more than ever. I mean, just ever anyways. Um, well, you got disqualified because you're from Aussie. You're uh, from down under. You're, uh, you don't have a, uh, Black oxen goal. I don't know. Um, it, it's sad that they that they let Crawford go. I mean, it was kind of bound to happen anyways. But it's just sad that it still happened. Um, you never really want to realize it. But I mean, not that Crawford was bad. It was his health conditions of ongoing vertigo and his con- his concussions. Um. So, I just answered your question, just as you were asking. He had vertigo. He was diagnosed with vertigo in the last few years, and he's had a lot of concussions kind of hold him back from playing. So, that's why... Nope. He would probably let go. Um, nice. So, other than that, I've still been waiting to hear where uh, Alex Petrangelo is going. He's the uh, the last of the big free agent names to uh, hear about. Um, might resign with the Blues, but since Tory Krug uh, got a big contract with the Blues, probably Petrangelo is going to go away. Um, just found out in the last hour or two that, uh, no, uh, Hatter spelled with is, is A R not E R. Um, Cody Ekem went to the uh, Sabers. He was on the Golden Knights. One of the original uh, members from the 2017-2018 team. So kind of sad to see him go. Um, but. Happens. They traded Paul Stastny away. Um, yeah, a lot of goalies for for new teams. Uh, Holtby went to the Canucks. Um, Markstrom went to the Flames. Um, Greece went to the Red Wings today. And I think that was like the main ones, I think. So other than that, oh, Hudovin, well, he re-signed with the, the uh, oh, Lundqvist went to the Capitals. Yeah, sad for King Heinrich. Mm. Neon Sugar Skulls? No. If they do the pre-orders for the Sugar Skulls, um, they're a cool design, but they do not Scream out to me, take me home, order me. So um, that's one pre-order. If they do again, then I will not uh, participate. I will uh, save up my money for the next pre-order around. So kind of curious to think about you know what the um, next pre-order could be with Hat Club. Because it seems like they've not run out of ideas, but they kind of like ran their course with like, you know, oh, we had this already pre this already dropped one time, we'll do a pre-order for it. So it seems like they're kind of like, again, not at the end of their ropes, but, you know, just kind of, you know, they finished the cycle. They got to start anew. Um, so... Interesting to see what they would uh, do for a next pre-order. Or maybe they'll just wait till for a while to, to do another pre-order. Who knows? 
dressing bottoms? What are you talking about? That sounds crazy. Um, otherwise, yeah, I got those two Rockies hats coming up. And otherwise, I mean, I will be trying to get, um, I'll be trying to buy some more dad hats in the next few days or so. Um, see what I can find with, uh, sorry there, with uh, maybe eBay or maybe use some of my uh, points on Brand 47 the family rewards plan that they have. I mean, I have a lot of points built up. I could get a free hat even with my uh, points. It's like right now I have, I have 292 points and 140 gets you a free hat. There's like certain hats that are free. They're not like sports hats. They're more like the blank hats, which for me would be fine. Actually, I could make a uh, nice dad hat or custom hat out of that. Or 120 points can be used as 20% off of your hat order. So, plenty of possibilities with the um, uh, 47 brand there. Um, I just added a few to my cart here just so I can, you know, think about them. I got the Orioles. I got the Carolina Panthers. I got the Ottawa Senators. I got the Arkansas Razorbacks in my cart here. So... There's a few, you know, I'm thinking about with uh, dad hats. Um, still waiting on some Illinois dad hats, but um, I'm on their waiting list for that. Might get a um, uh, Boston uh, University uh, hat, uh, dad hat. Just uh, just because. Well, of course, for some reasons. But um, might get a Boston University hat in the near future. Bears script. That is a lost hat of mine. That's actually one the new series I'm starting. Um, lost hats. And I have like seven or eight volumes that are, I'm going to make. And I have four, four volumes uploaded right now. So down the road, I'll, I, I have footage that I made for others, but I will um, for sure do a whole segment, a whole video on lost Chicago hats that aren't Cubs because Cubs will have their own section. We'll have their own video for um yeah, I have up to. Oh, I have a, I have up to a uh, Lost Hats version th or volume three, so I've it's all on my Premiere Pro timeline. So I will be uh, working on those and uploading and releasing them. I have Hat Chat videos that I'm working on, so. Those will come out eventually, but I have to also work on my campaign, which I'm really behind on, to be honest. I have... Um, how many days until December 11th? I have 62 days to get 350 signatures. So, I'm kind of behind on my campaign, to be honest. Um, I mean, the NFL script hat is, like, premium... Or especially reminds me of a Clark Griswold from Christmas Vacation movie. Great movie. Great hat he wore. So that'd be a nice hat to get. Um, but again, I got to work on my campaign. So if, uh, if you guys didn't know any other Mount Prospect residents, then uh, let them know that I'm running. So I can get signatures out. So I can be on the ballot. Um, I think... Toward the end of the month, I'll do like a press release for my campaign. But I need to uh, publish out my uh, my Facebook group to kind of get some some momentum going. So we'll work on that. 
Just get dead signatures. Uh, they check, actually, J38. Good try. Uh, they might work in Chicago, but not in Mount Prospect. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, recap. Green Eggs and Ham. Uh, Boston Red Sox. 100th anniversary side patch for Fenway. And Cubbies, 1962. All star game side patch. Um, I mean, this side patch is also like really, really nice, very simple. So I hope that they make mo make more of these. How do the hams look with a pin on it? Let me do that for you. Let me uh, crack one open here and uh, put one on. Just gotta make sure I don't uh, poke myself. And for me, for me, I'm not someone who who wears like the pins on the hats. I know um, Fit Insider has said that too. So, so there's what it looks like with the pin on. So I know you can't really see it too well. Hopefully that looks a little bit better. And the lighting is like pretty poor here, so. Um, I'll, I'll share a picture, better detail, uh, better lighting. So um, that's going to be, if I do the uh, the math here, it's going to be hat number 270, Boston, I'm typing it right now, Red Sox, and way 100 GEH, and then... Uh, 1962 ASG GEH hatch number 270 and 271 so that's going to do it for tonight thank you all to, for coming out again and where's my original there it is so we'll see we'll talk with you guys another time uh, stay safe out there, wear your masks, and have a good day, everyone. See you the next time. Bye.